I would expect a push like that out of the Bulldogs. It'll be Loney and Bird. And Minnesota Duluth, good start right at the bat. Well, they had the faceoff win, but Gaber comes bearing down and... But to be able to stack those games together down the stretch, that's going to be needed. Draw one by the Bulldogs, and everything has been key of winning faceoff, something Minnesota Duluth has struggled with, but beyond he gets a quality shot on net. Hoping to be eligible next year, Steves from his spot, winds and fires again, two shots here. He's got on a this good shift, shot. and he's looking for another three with a power play, but nothing to show for. A couple of good shots by Ben Steves. Here's Dubinsky skating in. He fires one in, nearly deflected. And she'll play college hockey out east. Yeah, she's going to go play D3 hockey at Nazareth from Rochester, New York. Gavers fires. Good leg pad saved by Thiessen, who has looked pretty calm and comfortable in that. Maybe even better and more humble human being than you can ever imagine. Dylan James skating in. North Dakota with a chance. They're going to get a goal, maybe. No goal. They'll it's get a not power play. Be, so he'll head to the box. Here's the play. So watch Yemenik in front. Gets tied up. Watch watch this play if it keeps rolling. Eh? Right on the left of the screen there. But it kept rolling on that other angle. Keep an eye on 26 right here. Well, North Dakota, what makes this power play so good, they take what's given to them. Blake winds and fires. Fan out of Perron on the doorstep for the rebound. Last night, Jim Perron ended a 10 game goalless drought. Back to back games with a goal. Again, I was telling, saying North Dakota, they're just taking what's available. They, Levinovich had to take a couple shots from the point because nothing was open. This is an unfortunate balance for Minnesota Duluth. You sacrifice the body, you go down. Derek Goats does a great job of blocking that. It's just unfortunately, it goes right to the stick of Jaden Perron. The story of their season, really, a team that's just taken way too many penalties. Good start here, though, for the Bulldogs as they win the all-important faceoff. He's played a lot of games against the Fighting Hawks. Number Quinn 14 Olsen. tonight. Here comes Omak off the face mask of Thiessen. His rights, Luke Lohite, who was drafted by Ottawa, chose not to sign and, and move on. And Quinn Olsen still, his rights are until, like, I believe, August 15th of this year. There was the shot opportunity. Mangini into Livanovich. Freshman on freshman tip. Prime right there. Here comes Blake, working around Pionk, still on his feet, and the score! Jackson Coons from Blake! Another unbelievable play by Jackson Blake. He makes this goal happen. This is a disrupted puck, kicks it up, somehow gets around, fights through a check. And then hits his head up and puts just a laser right over to Coons, who just taps that back door. Jackson Blake having himself one heck of a weekend here and continues to deliver in night two for his second assist of the night. Two points here tonight. Played on in the, in the uh, NHL with uh, Ottawa. And now it's Livinovich passing, as you mentioned, Paul Ledoux, former Grand Fork Central great. With 22 points. That puck right behind Person. It's going to sneak in. I think that shot originally came from Dubinsky. Ludwig Person stopped, but it kind of trickled down through his legs. He caught him up high, it looked like, and kind of weirdly bounced down through him and trickled behind and had enough momentum on it to just get behind. Well, does the goaltender get pushed there? You wonder, are they going to challenge this? I, I, I mean, the puck's probably going to go in, but I, I, yeah. I... Gather the puck. And now Pierce with it. Over to Dubinsky. One time where he That's scores. Goal. Yep, that went in. Second one of the night for Dubinsky. We'll see. Maybe there's a deflection out front, but Minnesota Duluth ties up this hockey game. It alongside the boards it's a shot point that I think gets tipped in front by Smith goes right up in and out and then for get a good look at our overhead here to see if it hits it hits either Jack Smith was the one dodging a bullet 
Well, speaking of dodging bullets, look at Blake navigate his way around. Perron! Good shot attempt, rebound by Berg for the game. After getting his hands up into the face of Jake Livanovich. Bennett Smolik back in the penalty box. He's serving a 10-minute penalty. Dangerous area. Man, you said it. Close call. Minnesota Duluth does not want to spend any more time. Short-handed. James with a nice move. Slash into the net. What a goal! Doesn't get much prettier than that. Dylan James puts UND back up. Three to two. Watch this. He puts the Jets on it. He just blows right by Joey Pierce. Tough save for a goaltender. You got to stay in honor. Stay kind of firm there. And anytime they're moving straight laterally on you, rather than going out to that post, watch where the pad goes for Teasing. He goes out with it instead of back toward that pipe to seal it off. And James just does a good job. He came into tonight number one in points in the NCHC, fourth in the NCAA. And now an opportunity for James. Can he add another? He does! <laughs> DJ plays the hits. But what a great job. Look at this. Good job. I believe it was McLaughlin that just kind of floats that up there. And this lets him use his speed, skates right into it. Excellent job, corrals that puck and then just quick little stick move. Morel Fingolstead Arena faithful back on their feet. Hey, hey, and we're gonna stick to the center. Right. Careful, good job by Lifford getting right in there right away trying to disrupt stuff, but